Mike Marauder, Motor City's finest. You get what I'm saying? Ain't it funny how the NFL ain't talking about it? They talking about Ben Roethlisberger, little rape case, but they ain't, you know what I'm saying, preaching and screaming about it like they would be with Plexico Bird's situation or Michael Vick or uh, Star Wars or, you know what I mean? White athletes get that preferential treatment, man. That's why I make these strong points because this is my personal opinion. And if you ask yourself, when was the last time you watched the NFL pregame show and you heard them mention Michael Vick, Star Wars, and Roethlisberger. I bet you they don't even talk about Roethlisberger. You know what I'm saying? White folks got some way of getting around their their business being in the media opposed to black folks, especially athletes and entertainers. It seems like the camera ain't never know, never on nobody white when they do a wrong, but when somebody black spit the wrong way on the concrete, TMZ is there to catch that and put it all over the internet and try to make people look fools. People tend to think that this entertainment life has to come with money and power and bullshit and paparazzi and all that. But if you think about it, man, if you put yourself in the spotlight, you can't be mad for people looking at you. So you gotta be willing to accept your role in it, into what it is you really do. You know what I'm saying? I'm Mike Marauder, I'm on YouTube. If somebody come up to me and be like, hey man, ain't you Mike Marauder? Can I get an autograph or a TMZ camera? It's like, yo, Mike Marauder. I mean, I understand there's a time and a place for everything, but you still can't forget who you are to these people. You know what I'm saying? These, you are a public figure. And it's a lot that comes along with that territory. But there is a limit. I'm not giving paparazzi full excuse to just run and invade motherfuckers' lives, but y'all do go over the edge some fucking time. But, you know, I'm just a curly-headed mixed boy in this world with a camera trying to blow up. You know what I'm saying? I want to give a shout-out to exclusively Carrington. Girl Nichelle Carrington up in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? We plan on doing big things together. And uh, everybody out there chasing your dream, man. It happens to be my birthday month this month, October 2009. So just want to give a shout-out. But also, since it's football Sunday, the Lions got their ass whooped, by the way. But you didn't know that. I, I Like, you didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man. It's unfair how these white athletes don't get no spotlight on their wrongdoings like the black ones do. You know, he might be going through that same Kobe Bryant type of shit. But who knows? You know what I'm saying? So if you're a millionaire out there, you shouldn't be taking the pussy. If you're going to take it, might as well pay for it. And say it ain't tricking if you got it. So fuck it. Give up that little 500, 600 for that 45 minutes of pleasure, I guess, and get the hell on. Ain't no need to be raping these females, man. All right? So it's Mike Barada from me to you. Bless you. Write more productions on the 1-2. Peace.